Hey guys, it's Sam Giannis from Third Beat Studios with another verse of the day. You know, this morning I was out for a walk and uh, I was following behind somebody who wasn't going as fast as I was and I didn't want to pass him, so I made a right. Uh, and I went a way that I don't normally go, which kind of goes around this clubhouse in my neighborhood. And I got a chance to kind of, I found myself looking out the water and seeing these ducks just sort of living their life um, so happily, right? And I started thinking to myself like, man, there's so many things that are outside of those ducks control. Uh, for example, climate change, pollution, right? That we're all doing uh, to this planet that the ducks certainly didn't have anything to do with. And I saw these baby ducks uh, just nestling in the water and coming up and having a good time. And I thought to myself, you know, that stuff is out of their, outside of their control. So why should they worry about it? Right now, in this moment, that duck family was able to enjoy that water and enjoy that time, right? And so I started thinking about scripture, about we should be focused on today, right? That doesn't mean we shouldn't plan for the future. And of course, I'm not saying be completely lackadaisical. Um, but let's see what scripture says, right? Uh, so go ahead and get your Bibles and your highlighters out. And let's jump into the book of Matthew, chapter 6. And we're going to read a section today. We're going to read verse 25 all the way down through uh, verse 34, which if you've noticed the past few videos are starting to be a theme, right? Which is about seeking the kingdom of God first in everything we do. And the more that I understand that, the more I realize is that when your will is in line with God's will, when you want God's will to come into fruition, whatever happens, you know that that's part of a plan and you're able to look at that story differently. But let's jump into scripture. So starting in verse 25, it says, therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? O oh, you of little faith. Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Right? So that's my challenge for us today is to focus on the here and now and to make sure we're not missing the miracle by trying to stack a bunch of grain into a silo, right? I think of those ducks, man. Those ducks are just taking advantage. I saw some ducks having a really good time out there in that water. So three jobs, chasing a dream, trying to drive a Ferrari. It's all fine and dandy. Just don't let it be your master, right? I love you guys so much and I'm always praying for you. Please comment and stand firm if you like this video. If you need prayer, please reach out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, God bless. Hit the subscribe button and share it with the world.